What's going on to all my friends on Facebook and Instagram and my YouTube fans and my TikTok followers? Welcome back to the fucking channel. Yeah, I uh, had a post that if you uh, follow me on Twitter, I mean not Twitter, if you follow me on um, TikTok, well, the reason why I couldn't post up that video because YouTube is going crazy trying to, I don't know what the hell is going on with it, but we're going to try to do this again. So, for you who are new to this channel, I am your host, Fire Marshal Will. This is the star of the show, the, rap, uh, the Lieutenant Panther, <laughs> and this is his co-host, the Rat. Big shout out to our promoter, Keegan, shout out to our manager, Dylan, and our big shout out to our number one YouTube fan, <laughs> of course, <laughs> Kenny. Oh... Am I on a rampage today, boys? So today's video is sponsored by one, uh, Strap Hangers Bar and Grill, 126 Anderson Street, Hackensack, New Jersey. They're open from Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. and they close at 2 a.m. And on Sunday, they open from 12 p.m. and then they close at 2 a.m. They got that little blue water thing in there so you can't drink before 11 o'clock. Like you can do Monday through Thursday or whatever. Uh, check out their food specials and drink specials. Now, football season's coming up. Make sure you reserve your seats because now that's coming up. And check out the Seafood Sunday. That is best to have every Sunday. It's like comfort food for everybody. So anyway, be sure to check them out as well. Today's video is the thoughts of a rat bastard with Lieutenant Panther. Our thoughts on... Off-duty security officers versus doctor office doctor office receptionists. I should say doctor re receptionists. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna get this fucking video started. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Ah! Okay, Carlos, get out of there, rat. You want your fucking beer? Yeah. So, anyway, I went on Wednesday to the doctor, to take my fucking to the doctor. You know, these freaking reception, doctor receptionists are fucking rude. They had this fucking choochia fucking bitch, Indian fucking brud, working behind the fucking desk. She slides the thing over. Hi, how are you doing today? Um, what's your name, sir? Oh, William Smith, blah, blah, blah. Gives him my, my father gives her my, his name. Oh, do you have any COVID? I was like, what? Oh, do you have any COVID? I was like, listen, lady, you're getting disrespected to my father here. Don't be disrespectful. Cheers. We're gonna fucking make an awesome video, if not better, because I gotta go to a wet down at fucking four o'clock. Yeah. The fucking woman was so fucking rude to my father. How in the hell? I I just rolled up out of bed at eleven o'clock in the morning. Had my co had my first cup of coffee. Go fucking figure, dude. That you fucking start being nasty to my father. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> you fucking choochie ass fucking bitch. <laughs> How are you doing today? Because now you're going to deal with Fire Marshal Will. The bad side of Fire Marshal Will. I'm like. <laughs> okay. You ready to get your fucking ass free, huh? <laughs> You're gonna get ready to pay the fucking price, you fucking choo choo bitch. Yeah, I'm already drawing, Tara. <laughs> yeah, so I said, oh, I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse me, why don't you take it down a notch? Yeah, nah. I said, you know what? Stop being fucking disrespectful. 
And why don't you fucking calm it down a little bit, take it down a notch. Yeah, I said, oh, really, sweetheart? I don't even know what the fucking you're saying. You're talking in fucking rubbish to me. Oh, yeah. You're talking rubbish to me. How in the fuck is it possible? That you could actually fucking talk to somebody like that. I said, I, she gets all nasty with me. I said, who are you? I said, really? Can't you can tell by the face configuration? I am his son. That's my father. You don't fucking disrespect my father like that. I said, I'll rip your fucking head off and shove it up your ass. And she goes, oh, you, you, you're going. And there's another fucking woman behind the fucking thing. And she's there, a fucking Biden-Harris supporter. Because she was on the phone. She's like, oh, my God. <laughs> I'm like, really? What are you fucking looking at, you fucking Kamala Harris communist cunt? What the fuck is your deal, huh, honey? I'm not, this conversation doesn't refer to you. Oh, you know, you need to take it down there. I don't say, hey, honey, I'm going to tell you something. I don't need to take a notch. I don't need to calm down. Well, I'm going to have you removed. I said, go ahead. Remove me. <laughs> because we're not having the... I'm not having this conversation with you. So who gives you the right to butt your fucking nose in in the middle of a conversation while I'm having it with this fucking Indian shit? Fucking Carmela Harris. She's like, you know, I am, you know... I am con I can control the fucking in charge here. Really? Come on out of here, the fucking go ahead. So she says, oh, you know what? I'm gonna have you removed. I said, okay, go ahead, have me removed. What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Fucking bitch! Why don't you lick my salty fucking ball sack while you're while you're at it? And you know what? Why don't you fucking rub one out for me? And when you're done rubbing one out for me, why don't you clean off my hair? Uh, my fucking salty fucking ball sack and treat me like a fucking man. You fucking bitch. She says, well, if you don't, if you don't calm down, I'm, I'm going to have you. I said, go ahead. Keep. So I kept going at it. I said, you know what? You, you know, it's all about this shit. I said, shut your mouth, honey. The girl who's sitting there, the Carmela Harris supporter, the communist little bitch over there, she thinks that, that, you know, that her shit don't stink because of what? Black Lives Matter? Oh! Wrong! You think you're fucking better than me, honey? <laughs> I'll tell you what, why don't you fucking pretend like you could be a source of amusement? And pretend to wipe your fucking ass in front of people. You call yourself a fucking receptionist? Because of what? The color of your skin? <laughs> Kiss my ass, bitch. So anyway, she, then it goes back and forth. Now, the, now it really escalates. Oh, you know, I'm going to call a PD. Go ahead, call PD. Send a couple of black and whites down here. And we have friends with all the brothers and sisters of the fire department, brothers and sisters of friends of the brothers and sisters of the PD. Go ahead. They're not going to do shit for you, honey. You want to fucking uh, wipe my ass? I think there was a bedpan call on you, honey. You want to you wanna fucking uh, lick Joe uh, Kamala Harris's ass? Ass crack? I think you do. Because you do look at me like I'm a fucking... I'm a fucking piece of shit, but when your fucking house burns, is on fire. Oh, you're running out. Oh, my God. My house is on fire. <laughs> Petty Roosevelt's in the building. Oh, yeah. But the whole fucking thing is, it's like, you're going to fucking disrespect my father. What in the fuck are you going to do when your house catches on fire? So anyway, I said to the nurse inside, you know, like, talking, uh, this and that. Then 
talk to, you know, the doctors. Colleague. Guy says, listen. You know, you need to talk to your colleagues outside because they're fucking disrespectful. And uh, he says, you know what? They didn't even give us a chance to answer if we had any symptoms of COVID or whatever, if we were a vaccinator or whatever. Blah, 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 blah. And long story short, but why in the fuck are you going to fucking be disrespectful and everything else? I said, when it comes to retired firefighters like myself and, and my father, just okay, I don't have a problem. I'll take care of it. So the doctor caught wind of it. So my father was going for blood work, whatever. I walk outside. The doctor catches wind. And this is where I, I, I give two big, very thumb, big, very, very, very big thumbs up to my father's doctor. You know, she's a wonderful person, everything else. You know, she is fantastic. And I'm not going to mention her name because of the respect of her privacy. But I'm going to say Dr. Clark. If you happen to watch my videos, Dr. Clark or Dr. Kimberly, for that matter, thank you for sticking up for us and sticking up for my father because of what we used to do and what I currently do. I appreciate you, Dr. Kim, or no, or Dr. whoever, Dr. Clark, or, or Dr. whatever, Dr. Who, so and so. I just, I just feel bad that why in the fuck are you gonna fucking disrespect fucking people? You know, it's like. Dr. Wu or whoever. It's just like, come on. The nurse comes back in after I told him that we were vaccinated and stuff. I said, you know, I'm vaccinated. She was wearing a mask. She, no problem. Well, why do you fucking want to disrespect? See, this is the thing. Tara, I understand. You, you I understand you. You're in the, you're in the nursing field, okay? This is this is not, this has nothing to do with you. I know you know being you know a supervisor. Hey, God bless you and stuff. But you know what? You've been in this for a long, long time. It, what? It, and I understand it's all about patient confidential uh, confidentiality and making sure that you make to greet the patient to make sure that the patient feels comfortable. I understand it. Tara, please, with all regards, Tara, you are the best person that I, that I know in the medical field. Thumbs up to you. My hat's off to you, you know. You've been through COVID just like I have and you understand and, and I appreciate for everything which you do. Because I know you watch my videos. Okay. <clears throat> but I respect you in your field. You know, even though you're in a different kind of uh, doctor, you know, nursing or whatever it is. Or medical field. But you know what? I appreciate for if there is a newly happily married couple come in and they're expecting their first child you do whatever it takes to take care of the patients and make sure that everything is okay right up until the day they have their beautiful child Tara you're the best I respect you girl I understand and you know I salute you because what you went through with COVID and everybody's like and and the baby boom and everybody's making babies and stuff like that to try to replenish you know 
way of life, that's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> anyway. So I know you watch my videos, Tara. And uh, if I have them, well, the reason why I wasn't at the station house, there was some... Uh, That's a whole nother video. But why is fucking these new people that are coming out of nursing school and then they're in the reception it's like, yeah, I don't like to be in the I'm going to treat this guy like an asshole or whatever and treat Lieutenant Panther like a fucking asshole. Really? Come on. Come on. This is the thing that needs to be addressed, you know. You know, uh, <clears throat> our my father's doctor, doctor. <laughs> shit, I had a fucking brain fart. You know, I've been going through a lot of shit, and there's gonna be a separate video about this, but uh, Doctor Clark, right? She came out in there and she fucking blew her staff away and nailed her staff against the fucking wall. She says, you know what? The next time you see William Smith Sr. and Jr. come in here, show them the respect that they deserve. Thank you, Dr. Uh, Doe. Dr. Doe. I appreciate what you do. Thank you, Dr. Doe. I'm going to respect her, her name because of security reasons. You know, Dr. Doe. I really appreciate it. And you know what? Thank you. And maybe, you, maybe you're going to be watching my YouTube videos. Who knows? But I just want to say thank you on the course of my father and my, uh, you know, and me as well. So, stay tuned for part two on this video. That, um, thoughts of a rat bastard with Lieutenant Panther. Our thoughts on Dr. Re Offices Receptionists. And I just want to say I'm sorry to everybody that didn't make it out to the station house yesterday due to uh, situations that uh, happened to me that I cannot and I will not go into detail with. <clears throat> Things got a little hard. I know everybody is probably wondering where the hell I am, but... Due to the, un unfortunately, the uh, circumstances, I couldn't be at the station house. You know, I miss everybody, and I enjoy everybody's company and shit like that. But you know what? Let's get let's get off that fucking soapbox. Why in the fuck do people want to fucking disrespect, no matter what it is, what color your fucking skin is, or whatnot? And you gotta fucking disrespect my fucking father. Fuck that. But anyway, Dr. Doe said come back Thursday. And like I said, stay stay tuned for part two of the outcome of this video. So anyway, so if you guys wanted to know, I, I, I decided to say this to the end of the video. We all know that we lost our good friend, Rob, recently. What made it more harder for me, because Rob was part of the YouTube family.
What made it harder for us, on us, with Lieutenant Panther and his big brother Kevin, who was lounging out <laughs> in my truck, because he takes up the whole bed. When I found out his pat, when we found out his passing. And I'm going to tell you something, when, when the night that it really happened, there was somebody, it was my downstairs neighbor, her son. I had to go and cover a shift over in Sea Caucus. I was on the night tour. As I'm coming down the stairs. When the gate was open, when I was on my front porch, all of a sudden my heart starts going like this. And I, I look this way, towards, towards the gate, towards the back of the driveway, towards the back of the house. And all of a sudden, I'm like, why am I getting this rapid fucking heartbeat right now? I th and I'm going to tell you something. That was, that was like kind of, uh, like saying, Rob was saying, is it, catch <laughs> on the <laughs> I don't know what He was one of our, he was our part of the YouTube family. And I just want to say to all our friends out and all our fans out there, thank you for the, the love and support. When we had to do what we had to do. To say our final <laughs>
I, I don't have, I can't. I'm really breaking up in, in the, the rest of this video. <laughs> Rob, here's to you, my brother. <laughs> anyway, um, we hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I apologize for crying on the video. But this is, this, it's really, <laughs> this really hit us hard. You know, I'm a person that like getting drunk and stupid, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, <laughs> and, um, and Lieutenant Panther and I are, are making this dedicated video to, to our 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 fan he was a youtube subscriber that's what really made it hard for for me to try to continue to make videos <laughs> yeah, it's just So anyway, please, uh, like, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. <laughs> this is... And Lieutenant Panther and I will catch you on the next one. Be safe, everybody. Live life to the fullest. Catch you on the next round. I can't even finish this video. I'm so emotional.